What's going on my psychedelic squadron? It's your boy Trippy here coming at you with another Madden 19 video today, man. And with it absolutely being confirmed that the ratio for snow to training will be two to one. So for example, just in case you don't know what that means, um, if you have, for instance, 300 training or 300 snow, it'll convert to 600 training, uh, 600 training or 600 snow will convert to 1200 training, etc., etc. So uh, it raised uh, eyebrow for me personally, because of course you're in order for training and snow to be on an equal level, it would have to be 2.5. So if you're out here buying cards, quick selling them for snow and trying to flip your training that way, you're absolutely not going to. So the best way that you could go ahead and do that is uh, at least to maximize the amount of training that you can get would either to be by 90 or not 93 but by a certain you know overall player for about you know the the best bang for your buck which would be a formula that I'll be going over in just a second um, or buying a I don't know a ghost of Madden player for instance and holding on to that until it is available to be quick sold for snow that way you still keep your 2.5 and don't have to take that uh that l as far as training so what i mean by that is for instance i'm gonna keep throwing out examples and i'm gonna give you you know i'm gonna go full-blown math teacher on you real quick now i went over this uh this little equation in my uh, not in my last video but hell not my past two videos but the video prior to that when i was trying to go over whether or not this snow deal is going to be good uh and a good deal for you know the team of the week bundle that they got going on and 100%, in my opinion, you'll be breaking about even unless you had snow already stacked up that you had bought for the low, which if you listened to me and went ahead and bought, you know, a couple players for a reasonable price, you wouldn't be taking an L, you'd actually be gaining something, but you wouldn't be gaining coins. It just all depends on what your view of these players are for Team of the Week. Now, if you don't know, Team of the Week uh, heroes are available to be bought for Week 16 and 17 for 200 or 2500 snow now really it's not a bad deal but you had to get a good deal on snow yet again so the best way to break down whether or not you're getting a good deal on snow and or training is to take for instance we'll do calvin ridley who between calvin ridley um jalen smith jimmy smith and josh allen that came out they're all in that 180k range uh, between those players and certain 94 overall players would be the best possible scenario to go ahead and get in order to invest into training. So it says on my head that his average price is 188k. That's baloney. It's actually 8k less. Uh, 8k may not be a big deal to you, but when it comes down to uh, doing the the process to determine whether or not you're getting a good deal on training or snow, it actually makes a huge difference if you're buying in bulk. So um, for instance, we'll do 180,000 coins. Um, when breaking it down, you want to take how much you're spending on a particular player, which in this instance, yet again, is 180,000 coins. Divide that by the amount of uh, training and or snow that that person sells for. So in this instance, we're going to go ahead and do the training points, which uh, Calvin really does quick sell for 6,400. So 64 or 18. Eh. 180k divided by 6400 training equals 28.125 coins per training point so for each training point you're spending 28 coins now it's not really that bad but if you break it down and you go to uh let's go ahead and go to the 94 overalls for instance i think dick lebeau and chris carter are the cheapest 94 overalls on the market right now because when I'm actually looking in the game, uh, the cheapest 94 overall players are going to be either Dick LeBeau, Chris Carter, or I think Jerome Bettis might actually be on this list. It all depends on how you filter and what time of the day that you're doing this on. So if you really 100% want to maximize how you take advantage of this training, or uh, take advantage of how to get training, it would have to be on Saturdays. Of course, you know, every Saturday 
every Saturday they release legends. Legends are typically the easiest way to get training points depending on their overall. And um, all types of legend pieces will be on the auction block. So even if you can't get per se a Dick LeBeau or um, a 93 overall Calvin Ridley, there's also Jerry Rice pieces that are 93 overalls. There are uh, 92 overalls that could be going at a pretty decent price. So uh, I think a going rate for 92 overall pieces are somewhere between 150 and 170. Um, full legends typically go for that 170 range. But um, Dick LeBeau typically goes for about 275,000 coins, right? This is on a Monday through Friday day. Uh, on the weekend, he might actually go for about 230 just depending on you know what pieces get pulled and who puts them up so doing the equation from earlier 230,000 coins if you snipe him for that low uh, divided by the amount of training that he quick sells for he is a 94 overall so he does quick sell for 9,000 so 230,000 coins divided by 9,000 equals 25 coins per um, training point which is actually just a little bit lower but it you actually in bulk like for nine thousand of those you're actually saving that many coins so you get a way better deal if you go ahead and do it that way as opposed to you waiting and sitting here lurking for these 93 overalls that are actually coming out now now it's not a bad deal uh as we do the math one more time calvin ridley 180k divided by the 6400 that he sells for 28 but 28 and 25 is a huge difference so i would definitely wait if you wanted to maximize the amount of training that you can get or you can possibly invest in these 95 overall uh ghost of madam players who are typically running anywhere between 350 depending on who it is and 360k or 375k for maybe like a Rob Gronkowski, an Antonio Brown, a oh, I forgot to put it on Ghost of Madden. That would absolutely help out. Uh, Rob Gronkowski, Levante David typically goes in that price range too. So as we filter and see who is the cheapest, it would be Rob at the partic at this particular moment. So between JJ White, Antonio Brown, Rob Gronkowski, um, Levante David. May say on mutt head that he's like 385, but I know the truth. I've seen him up there for about 340 at times. So if you can go ahead and do that, and then take into account that the gauntlet players that are also 95 overall, they quick sell for 13,000 coins or training. Now, last equation, last example that I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the video uh, 360,000 coins, right? Divided by the amount of training that he quick sells for, which is 13,000. 27 so that's right in the middle but like i said if you can go ahead and get them up there for about 240 we'll say 2 248 just to be on the more of the realistic side um with snow dropping though in price like these ghost of madam players are actually dropping a little bit which i did not expect but divide that by thirteen thousand, and you're getting 19 coins i'm pretty sure let's see if i did that right 348,000 divided by 13,000 equals 26. So yeah, I definitely did that math wrong. But 26, 25 isn't really that bad. But just wait till Legends weekend. See what kind of uh, deals you can get. And then possibly wait it out just a little bit longer to see if these Ghost of Madden uh, past, present, and future cards drop just a little bit. Because then you also have... You know, the Saquon Barkleys, the um, Bradley Chubbs, the Derwin James, who could be the best option just depending on how low they get and how how many get pulled uh, when people are trying to make a last ditch effort to go ahead and get and maximize their snow. So if you do have any remaining snow left and you do have the option to get a possible um, Ghost of Madden past, present, or future card, I suggest you go ahead and do that so you don't lose that, you know, that .5 amount of training that you can get and possibly turn that training into a randy moss uh ty law possibly a Deion sanders or Deion jones depending on what your needs are at your linebacker and you know your team's positions but 
that'll be the end for today's video, guys. Well, the last video. I did post up another two videos earlier, so definitely been on my grind since I got home. But um, your boy has got to eat, and I got to feed my baby. But um, go ahead and hit that like button if this video did help you out. Uh, this is my second time going over this formula, so hopefully you guys are returning from the last video. Don't get a little bored with it. But if it did help you, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Two piece those mofos. It'll help the channel grow tremendously. Let me now let me know down below whether or not this helped you or not. Or if uh, there's something that I missed or some other method that I'm kind of overlooking that you know you can help the other people down there uh, that are viewing this video out and kind of give them a heads up as well as me. But um, yeah, also follow me on Twitter, man. Twitter will be in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Stay tuned for more Madden 19 content such as this. And until next time, fellas, peace.